afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would review Apple here today because I've been in this now. It feels like for a very long time, but it's actually been, let's count the days, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, it's not that long, but it feels like longer. <laughs> Anyways, I have uh, calls in Apple, the 120s. It's an option trade that I'm in this, and I have it out through October 28th. So my bias in Apple is to the upside. This chart looks great. Got to be honest with you, Apple looks amazing next to the market. So in fact, this looks stronger right now than the overall QQQs as far as the day that we had today. And even yesterday, let's just take a quick look and see how the market closed. Ooh, we had a nice bounce in there. So we fell, had a fall, a dollar, more than a dollar here. We're red today, bounced, all we did was bounce into support, close strong, but Apple actually was holding the gap. It did break this morning too, a little bit. Couldn't hold itself up completely 100% all day with the cues, but it did basically hold the gap up. You see here, so this is nice. So we closed yesterday, this is Thursday, at 113.89. Where did we open today? 114.31. Where did we close today? 114.05. So we did hold this. This looks lovely. And actually today here, we went over yesterday's high, which went over this high, which went over this. This is a pattern that I'm, you know, I mean, there, there, there's all kinds of patterns, but the bottom line is it made this move up, then came in, then made this. It looks like a like a jiggity jaggity. And a lot of people look at this and say, oh, Melissa, it's doing lower highs, a series of lower highs here and higher lows. That's not how you determine the trend in a chart, nor is it a good way to consistently make money uh, doing something in a directional bias. When this pulled in in here, it actually was a great buy. And I was in it even here before and called it in the letter even here. And you could have been in this for a while, actually. Let's go back and look. So Apple gapped up here on this day, September 14th. And this is something that gives me a high level of conviction in the trade that I'm in. So I'm looking for the institutional money that bought the gap on this day to follow the stock through. Where is it gonna blow? Somewhere around 115, 116. So it was, I just wanted, I just noticed something here I wanna tell you. Apple's been trading in a range for ever since really right before I took it. So I'm looking at this, stocks rarely trade in a range for 12, 13, 14 days. It's a long time for the stock to be back and forth, back and forth, down and up and down and up and down and up. And if you look at the bars here, it's, you know, these are small, tiny, weeny, weeny bars. I mean, this stock moves and trades and this is, you know, this is Apple. So this is very interesting here, the way that it has acted for the last 14 days after the move, after the Megalodon move that happened, because the low in here where it started was 102.53 and the high up in here, when it hit up in the high, was 116 before it pulled back. So it had like a massive 14 point move in a week. So it's just been, it's a rest period. The stock is rushing to blow higher with the market all time perfectly. And the market hasn't done it yet and Apple hasn't done it yet but everything look like, looks like it's gonna do it. So here, here's really the area. Actually, I'm just looking at this here. So over this area here, we should blow higher. It's not even over the topping tails. And so then when we see where we go. So there's multiple targets in this. However, either way, it looks great. And it's a good, nice, solid, strong stock in an uptrend. Any questions about this, email me at melissathestockswish.com. If you would like to learn how to rate and play bullish gaps, the bullish gap class is next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This was a great bullish gap. And you could have gone long intraday, traded as a swing trade, been in as an option trade like me. Have a great weekend, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information to sign up for the Golden Gap course. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.